for my part, I think it, while there are past incidents as it relate to the Belize Defense Force and Guatemalans, I think the main thing here is to look at the merit and the merits of those cases individually. It, it is not the right thing to do to cast a shadow over all the cases and say, well, the Belize be the, be the Defense Force are the one who are to blame. I think it's important that we look at the they as well as us look at the cases and then before making those broad assumptions. One of our own uh, law enforcement officers uh, was killed allegedly at the hands of Guatemalans. Did that come up? Danny Connerkey was killed in September, on September 25th and he was on, on duty when they are alleging that Guatemalan men, regular citizens from Guatemala, came in, armed, fired sh on, on him, killed him on the spot, and nothing came of that. That did not come up in the discussion, but what I remember them mentioning were the amount of Guatemalans that have been killed since 1999, I think it was. Uh, and so, again, I told them each case has its merit and the merit. And so while they keep on their side what they believe in, on our side, we make sure that we, we, we maintain that it's important that um, we don't look at everything as, as one. We look at every case as individual case. Given your recent report from your office uh, with the numerous cases on, of police brutality, uh, human rights violations uh, at the hands of uh, law enforcement. Um, you know, does this, this incident, in your opinion, just uh, basically solidifies what came out of that report? I don't want to look at all what has been in the report as well, yeah, because this is what has been happening, then I believe that is the same there. I said it is important to look at every case, I look at them in a manner, you look at the merit and the demerit of the case. I will not take all those other cases and lump it to this case. I will look at this case by itself and I'll look at all those others by themselves.